Bridgewater started fast again in a 35-17 win at Shenandoah on Saturday, continuing to pitch a first-half shutout for the entire season. Bridgewater has now outscored its three opponents 78 to nothing in the first half. The Eagles made four fourth down stops in this one, including two in the red zone in the first half. For the second straight week, Bridgewater scored touchdowns on its opening two possessions, taking a 14-0 lead when Vionte Tucker took a short pass in 27 yards for the score. Trey Stevenson's touchdown catch with 21 seconds left in the half made it 21-0 Bridgewater heading into halftime. Jay Scroggins found Devontae Smith to convert a third and 18, and then carried it in himself for a 28-0 scoreline. Albert Mensa bullied his way into the end zone from 21 yards out to make it 35-0, still in the third quarter. The view's always a little better from the front. Uh, that's not to say you, we're not going to have to come from behind sometime and win. There's no question we're going to have to do that. But I think we've been able to start fast. Uh, I think, you know, the, the two rally, two-minute week, last two weekends, we, we've gotten the ball with under two minutes and went on the field with a couple timeouts with field goal being our objective and turned those into touchdowns. I think those were that was a critical score here tonight to turn that one into a three-score game at the half. Uh, you know, a challenge I'll give to the players. I, at half, I said a week ago we were a two-quarter team. We took the third quarter off, uh, and we, we came out there today, and, and we were a three-quarter team. The challenge will be is try to become a fourth-quarter team and see how far that takes it. Can't say enough about Jay Scroggins. Certainly the efficiency that he operates at the quarterback position. Uh, it could be seventh-grade football or it's in the NFL. That That's a that's a position that really stirs the drink. And, you know, him playing at the level he's playing uh, really makes a difference f for everybody out on that field that was in a white jersey tonight.